We're out here on an 8235R this morning. Had to drive about three hours to get to this one. So we got up pretty early, but we're getting some codes on this tractor for EGR flow high. So I've got the service advisor hooked up here. We're gonna show you what codes we're getting. Getting the service advisor connected here and we've got this 2659.04 code that's already popping up after I just got the key on engine off which is for the delta pressure sensor. We've got service advisor hooked up here and we've got two codes that are active. The 2659.04, which is the code that's popping up here on the display as soon as I turn the key on for the EGR delta pressure sensor circuit fault. And then we're also getting a 1569.31, which is a D-rate code. The code the customer actually sent me was the 2659.15, which is a EGR flow high code. So we're gonna go um, after the the active code for the EGR pressure sensor and see what we find. We're gonna go ahead and do a harness diagnostics test showing all the active or all the DTCs for the engine right there. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. And it's gonna check all the components on the engine. Like the turbo, it's gonna move the turbo. Turbo actuator, it's gonna check to make sure all the sensors are working as well. And it looks like we've got still two active codes, the EGR pressure sensor and the D-rate code. We'll go ahead and go after that EGR pressure sensor code. So we've got our delta pressure sensor right here. First thing I'm, I checked was make sure we had a good connection there. And next we're gonna make sure that the pins feel good on it, do a terminal test. Them all feel good there. So next we're going to use our John Deere's engine test box to hook up to that sensor and simulate a good sensor and check our powers and grounds and our signal wire going to the ECU. Hook up our wires for our power and ground there. As you can see on the meter, we've got five volts there, which is what we're supposed to have. We're gonna put a little bit of a load on it. And we drop it down just a couple tenths, which is normal. Do a little wiggle test, make sure we're, we're not losing our voltage there. I'll start wiggling the harness over here on this side as well. See if I can get it. Go ahead and hook up to check the signal wire. So we're at 2.5 roughly. We checked all our wires out, making sure we didn't have a wiring issue. And when we Plugged in a new sensor, our code went away. And there is a new updated delta pressure sensor that we installed here. After we ran it, didn't have no codes, we went and pushed it through a service regen and no codes come back. So we fixed this tractor. What I ended up finding on that 8235R, we checked all the wires out. Everything turned out good there, could not find any issues with the wiring harness and I was looking at my readings uh, through service advisor of the input voltage from that sensor to the ECU and it was fluctuating around quite a bit and the pressure reading after I shut the key off it was still showing some pressure on the, uh, the differential pressure and which there shouldn't have been with it off so I went ahead and unbolted the pressure sensor and still had pressure once I even unbolted it so I knew that wasn't right uh, I had a new pressure sensor on hand, so I went ahead and plugged it in and pressure read zero like it should. Went ahead and installed that new sensor, ran it, no issues. Went ahead and pushed it through a service regen and never had any issues. And customer took it to the field now and he's using it.